Hey there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll have a first look at this Oxygen OS on the OnePlus One. And this Oxygen OS is the new ROM by OnePlus One. It's basically a ROM on Android Lollipop. And uh, if you have been using the OnePlus One, uh, it might be running on the Cyanogen mod. And this Oxygen OS is a new ROM by OnePlus One. So we'll have a first quick look at it. And the thing is that you got to flash this because this is a new ROM. So you don't get an OTA update. So you got to flash it manually. And actually it's pretty straightforward. You have to just install ADB and TWRP recovery. If you do that, then it's pretty straightforward to flash it. And OnePlus One has instructions how to do that. I'll have the links in the show notes. In this video, I'll show you what are the changes that I have noticed. And it's been just around two odd hours since I have flashed this. And it's been working fine. I've also made some calls, but let me actually first show you that it's running on Android Lollipop and it's actually very close to stock Android experience that you get. And if you notice, the menus also look like that. And if you go to about the device, you'll notice that it's running on the Android version 5.0.2, which is Lollipop. So we are getting that. And it's running on the Oxygen OS version 1. So it's the first release. And we'll notice that I have these virtual buttons. So still with this Oxygen OS, you have the ability to, if you go to the settings, you have a button option over here. And if you click here, you can toggle between the on screen or the physical button. So that functionality is still there. Go back to virtual buttons, I like that. So we have that functionality and that works. OnePlus One also has retained some of the gestures that we had and uh, we do have this uh, double tap to wake so that actually works pretty well and we also have some other gestures for example for flashlight we had the v gesture oops and as you can see that works so that is there and let me actually show you let's just go back open it we have a gesture tab over here and as you can see these are the gestures that we have we also have for a camera and you can also control the music but if we start comparing with the uh, modifications that was offered on Cyanogen mod, we don't have that many modifications. So it's very close to stock Android, I would say. Uh, fortunately, we can change the battery icon. As you can see, the percentage uh, uh, one, if you just go to here, it shows you the battery stats. And if you click this icon, you can change it. So that option is also there. And uh, another thing that I have noticed is uh, as you can see, these are the quick toggles that we get. We can actually change them. You can hit this button and let's say I want the flashlight over here. I can just drag this over here and it will go over there. So these are, and we have to just hit save. Now we have the flashlight over here. So these things work. So these are the, some of the changes that I have noticed. Apart from that, it's very close to stock Android, I would say. And for the most part, it's actually pretty fast. As you can see, as of now, it's pretty fast, but it's just around two odd hours since I've flashed it. And again, this is the dialer that we get. By default, you'll see the quick contact. You can just tap and it'll make a call. And if you hit this, you get to the dialer. Let me actually uh, make a call. Uh, the speaker quality is actually very good. Still, it's pretty loud. Let me put it on speaker. Your current prepaid account balance is 200. And I did make uh, several voice calls with this uh, device after flashing the Oxygen uh, OS. And I would say the call clarity has improved a little bit compared to Cyanogen mod. So that's a good thing. Now, some of the things that are not there on this Oxygen OS, if you compare it with Cyanogen mod is that uh, when I opened the camera app, uh, again, you'll notice this is the stock uh, Google camera app that we have. Uh, but one thing I did notice that if you go to the video mode, let me just go back. Let's, and if you hit the settings, and if you go to the resolution, in video resolution, uh, it's restricted to only 1080p. With the Cyanogen mod, we had the 4K option, but that is not there as of now. And for the front camera, it's restricted up to 720p. So that's what I have noticed. Also, if you like a lot of themes, Cyanogen mod has a lot of theme support, but we don't have any theme support as of now with this Oxygen OS. Also, one thing that I have noticed is slightly broken is the auto brightness sensor with this Oxygen mod. I have kept it to manual right now, but if you go to the settings and in display, if you enable this adaptive brightness, that is supposed to be, uh, what do you say, auto brightness. It is just going haywire. So I think so this is a bug and uh, hopefully, uh, what do you say, OnePlus One can fix it in future updates. Also, another thing that I've noticed is that 
with cyanogen mod we had the screen recording app but that is also missing with this oxygen os some of you have also asked me to check if this okay google works or not and as you can see it works but let's try it again okay google what's the time in japan the time in japan is 704 pm and you might have noticed that uh, one thing i have noticed that st as i'm still on a very strong wi-fi uh, network it is still actually using sometimes my mobile uh, cellular data which is a little bit weird i would say as you can see so these are some of the changes that i've seen with the oxygen os again i would say it's mostly stock android lollipop experience that we get with minor modifications again it's just been around two hours since i have been testing this device so i will be testing this device a lot more and if you have already flashed this device do share your experience in the youtube comments it will be highly appreciated thanks for watching this video this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video